Previously on Uranium Chef. After saving Chris, Zorby, Wendy, and Thunnis set their sights on Holly's server room, hoping to stop her from being able to hurt anyone else in the future. While they set about trying to save those who were put in danger, Pankuka took the opportunity to plate and serve a dish to the judges, and in doing so, crowned herself the winner of Uranium Chef. After confronting Holly, Zorby, Wendy, and Thunnis rushed to the control room, but were quickly outnumbered by robotic guards and the nefarious Dr. Durian. And if that wasn't enough, the Adenian chef reformed herself in the final moments. Now, with everyone at gunpoint and the studio burning down around them, will the contestants be able to save everyone, or will they find themselves cancelled? Find out today on the exciting conclusion of Uranium Chef! The remains of the Adenian chef. What? Forming back together. No. Right what? next to you. And she kind of puts her arm on the back of your neck, or Zorby neck, kind of grabs you and pulls you into the room next to Durian. She turns to Durian, she says, what the hell is happening on this show? I came here to cook, not to be incinerated, Durian. This is very unprofessional. You're going to get a very bad review. What are you doing? Well, she yells at you while she's kind of like gripping you. You see, turns out the show is evil and it's been trapping people in tiny dimensions and they kidnapped this guy's son and we're just trying to help him. We're trying to expose the evil of this show. What are you doing? Can I be in the room? <laughs> Roll a <it> sneaky. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. Oh, Looks uh, like a blank. It's actually three. Okay. So yeah, you've been there the whole time. <laughs> Can I be at the computer? <laughs> Can you what? Can I be at the computer? Sure. Yeah. Can I press go live button? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Honestly, this is it. This is my moment. No one notices I'm here. I can get over there and I can just turn on the thing. I'm doing it. I'm gonna press that button. So you hit the, you turn the power on. Yeah. And you make everything go live. Yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm Wendy. Now streaming. <laughs> so. But I don't say anything. No, I'm right. Just, but I'm like, just there. And, and outside the room, all of the lights go on. Yeah. And Zorby, at the camera that you're at, you know, like it's in pieces, obviously. But you notice <laughs> that the microphone is kind of dangling. Okay. And there's a little red light that goes on. Is there mm. no CCTV in here? No. Maybe video didn't kill the radio star. But, but you know, because there's a microphone. And you sing into it, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know a lot of human references, okay? Yeah, I've seen MTV. And no, I'm not going to share the channel with you, Scuba. Got it? Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, the Adenian chef obviously is holding Zorby by his neck, I guess. Mm -hmm. Thunis, what are you doing after you've fallen off of uh, so, I mean, they, they asked us all what we're doing. So, I'm just trying to save my friend Chris. He seems very malnourished at the moment. Um, so, what are you talking about, your friend Chris? He's in a little jar. She was trying to cook him, I think. I don't know what you were, how, why you had my friend. Whoa, 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 whoa. The fish is your friend? Yeah. He likes eggs. Oh, I was given that by the chef, the show's producers oh. who was on the show. They told me it was supposed to be my special ingredient. They were trying Dude, to tie a blue that sense. show producer doesn't know that that's my friend. Holly pops up. <laughs> oh, I knew. Oh, this was gross. Listen, then why did you want her to cook them? Because Coco stayed behind. I had to punish them. But that seems mean, Holly. They shouldn't have messed with my sh show. Durian uh, kind of moves in your direction. Oh. He's like, all you have to do is give us back the globe and we'll let you free. What's we inside the promise. globe? promise. It's none of your business. Then Wendy. why do you want it so much? 
because we need it. It's for the show. Don't you want to be famous? Obviously, you guys can't remember me, so what's the point? Where? What are you doing over by that computer? Nothing. Durian looks and notices the giant blinking red light. <laughs> <laughs> that was like that when I found it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. That's right, Durian. Oh, no. Everybody's no, heard no, everything. No, 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 no. And Durian runs no. back towards the door. Before no. he can, yeah. I throw special wine in his eyes. Oh! It's food coloring. It's though. food coloring. <laughs> but I've had it on me the whole time. Roll an aggressive. <laughs> this is so I got a negative two. <laughs> so you throw this glass in the general direction of Dr. Durian as he's going to run. And it, like, shatters next to him. He just kind of, like, looks at it like, there's a single drop of fluid in it. <laughs> what? What are you doing, Thunnis? Trying to mess you up. I want to use... He continues to run. I want to use my double time. And, okay. And I want to grab him and basically freeze him on the spot. Ooh. Okay. Do it. Do, do it. Freeze him. Ooh. So that's one, two. I never gave it a plus or anything. I just said double time right hand action. It's a one time thing. Okay. Well, what's your total score on that? It's quick. I'm assuming. Uh, two. Two. Yeah. Okay. So you try and grab Durian, but uh, he's able to kind of get away from you a little bit. You kind of blast a little bit of ice mm -hmm. at him and kind of like kicks at it as he's running by. But yeah. he's barreling right through the door, right past Cuddles, right past Zorby, right past everybody. He's on the go. My son! <laughs> okay. <laughs> then I'd like to play a different card. <laughs> I'd like to shout at the two guards. Uh -huh. Hey, Zarflax is trying to escape. To get them to point their attention at him. You say Zarflax is trying to escape? Yeah. Okay, so both of the guards kind of turn towards Zarflax. Do they point their weapons towards him? Well, no, I mean, they're, they're still doing this thing. Okay, yeah. damn. <laughs> I was hoping that back at you. Cuddles would feel threatened. Yeah, no, way. sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure. should find a way to get me and Macron back in there to help. You guys, I think that the authorities will catch up with Durian. <laughs> I think it's okay if he leaves, as long as we can get everybody else out of here. Okay. So, while you guys are deliberating, cut back to Pankuka and Macron. Drinking. Drink! Oh, my goodness, Pankuka. This has been wonderful. Um, this is fantastic. This wine is so good. Everything's <laughs> on fire. Should we go? Where? I don't know. Where is everyone? I don't know. Did the bus already come? No, I, I don't remember the bus. I feel like the bus, it would have, it's very obvious. Perhaps we should check the green room. Yeah, so that's, a, that's, where, that's, that's where a good go. idea. Okay, that's, okay. A, that's a good idea. So oh, Pankuka and Macron drunkenly wander down the hall towards the green room, where there's a giant cuddle-sized hole <coughs> through the green room was that, was that goes the all the way into the storage room, so they can see everything that's happening. <laughs> what's Pankuka? What's happening? Let's go check it out. Grab McCrone. And... All right. We go. So McCrone and Pankuka now yep. enter into the room. There is a cuddles that is being held down by two robots. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Durian, you see, starting to run away. He's kind of passing as you're Can there. I, like, aggressively trip him. Or, Do like, you want to roll an I want to grab him with my claws. Sure. How about... Let us see. That is three plus three, so that is a six. And I clutch on to him. Where is everybody? I, they all wandered away. Future husband and I are all alone. Wait, wait, I see something over there. That doesn't look good. Oh, where do you think you're going? So as Durian's like running away, you just kind of like <laughs> grab onto him. What do you and say? You're going. You have to crown me the winner of your <laughs> It's true. She submitted yeah, her food and we did it. So yeah, that she wins. Won. Right? Wow. I am so drunk. Thaddeus. Oh, hi, buddy. What's going on over there? 
Well, Holly's real rude all of a sudden, and these guys shot my dog, or I guess his dog, but we formed a bond, and he, they, like, tied him down <laughs> or something, and I don't know, like, uh, Dr. Durian just ran away because he said that he took somebody and put him in a snow globe. I don't understand any of it. McCrown. Yes! They're bad people. Oh. They're bad people. Oh. And McCrone suddenly... <laughs> mm. Was that a bad roll or a good roll? Oh! Double pluses. Wow. Uh, McCrone um, suddenly gets very that very serious look <gasps> on his face. He's right? And he, you see him staring at the two robots <gasps> who are guarding Ooh. Cuddles. And you can see them kind of like start to shake and whatnot, and their heads kind of start to like. And uh, Holly pops up, and she screams, "No!" And as she does that, both of their heads explode, Scanners. and uh, the robots kind of fall to the floor. <clears throat> Obviously, their weapons disconnect. Cuddles lurches upwards, launches forwards smashes them to pieces and picks up Zarflax and then goes over and looks right at Durian and is just kind of standing there staring at him, panting. Um, what would you guys get to do? I think Cuddles looks hungry. I pick up Zarflax uh -huh. and I dust him off and I wave Zorby over and I... Zorby, will you do the honors? Uh, <laughs> what are you gonna? What, don't put him inside of you! No, Please don't! Put give him, him the orb! Oh, oh, of course, that's what I meant. Oh, yeah, I see that. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Do you have any hand sanitizer? <laughs> well, I don't understand what you're. Do you have it or not? Of course, there's some. Okay, get there. it. <laughs> he gets the hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> that, it was a lot easier this time. <laughs> There you go. So you present the orb to Zarflax? Mm -hmm. Is this what I think it is? It is. It's your baby. Please think. It's still warm. Uh, <laughs> so he quickly runs over to the giant machine that houses all of the other ones. He takes the orb. He places it into a certain slot there. It launches up this giant tube. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, Pretty much instantaneously, right next to it, a person forms, <gasps> just appears, right? Dude, magic! Oh, Timothy! <laughs> I was hoping for a better name. Yeah. <laughs> nope. I can't believe it's you. I've missed you for so long. And he goes and he embraces this person oh, that is God. there. clearly mm -hmm. his son. Like, Papa! <laughs> <laughs> And he looks exactly like Zarflax, so like a younger, smaller version of okay. that. A uh, gray alien that looks like Scooter? Yeah. Sure. That's uh, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks a lot like Scooter, actually, with the hair, too, yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's because I took a photo yep. and I drew him like that. Nice. Except he's a gray alien. So, um, <laughs> he, you know, Zarflax turns to all of you, I, I can't thank you enough. You saved my son. You don't have to thank us, you have to save our friends. Of course. We just need a way to get all of these out of here. Okay, but first we need to materialize Coco and Klimpy. Mimpy. Mimpy. <laughs> Mimpy. His name is Mimpy. Well, but what about all of Did the other? Did you get the wedding invites? Wait, 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 you guys. I, I feel like they would be happier in the globe. If we take Coco and Mimpy out, we'll be taking them away from all their friends inside the globe. But then they're in a globe that's fragile. and it can We just destroyed. need to find a safe place to keep all these globes. Not up here. <laughs> no, I can't. Yeah, I yeah. certainly can't fit them What's all up there? there. Oh, at least fit that one, maybe. Just well, I can time. take the one, but what are we gonna do with the rest of them? I know you like Coco, but that's a little. So extreme. Like, do you have a, any uh, idea how we could safely get all of these out of here? <laughs> I mean, I think that we bought ourselves some time. <gasps> oh, I have an idea. Can we put all the globes in one globe? I mean, that would be a brilliant idea, but we need to have an expert in quantum mechanics. <gasps> I don't know if we can What? You're not too drunk to fit a bunch of globes into one globe, <laughs> are you? 
I mean, it's quite the party trick, but I've done it a few times, if Let's you know what I mean. Let's do this. What? Montage! Montage! <laughs> All right, so it's going to be a montage. Do a montage. Montage! Of Macron, montage. Of Macron making more wine. Yeah. And he makes the this, biggest wine this bottle giant ever. carafe of wine. And... <laughs> It's going to be a montage. So, uh, Cuddles is mounted with a special device built by Zarflax Ooh. that carries this giant wine carafe. He climbs up the uh, top of this structure, and then the two phoenixes fly over and are able to activate this device so it pours over all of the globes in this giant structure, and they start to compress down yeah. into space. Yes? What university did you learn this from, and where can I enroll? Universe. <laughs> it doesn't Itty. exist anymore. That was 7,000 years ago. You know what? You got your money's worth. You were young when you went there. I was! <laughs> but a wee babe! <laughs> I was so innocent back then. Not anymore! <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go drink some more wine. Yeah. So... All of the globes have been shrunk down. It's basically just a miniature version of the giant structure that you saw there, kind of like sitting on the ground in front of you. Uh, and the entire structure around you is starting to collapse. Oh, crap. Oh. We should probably go We should now. probably boogie now, guys. Yeah. All right. Uh, so where do we go? Where do we outside? go Outside? On the bus? Yeah, what's happening outside? So you all head outside, I assume. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Zarflax. So, am I still holding on to Durian? Uh... What did you do with Durian? Yeah, I mean, he hasn't claimed me winner no. yet. So. We had a montage with Durian. you holding him the whole time? I'm yeah. holding him. I've got a trophy I, under one yeah. arm. You're like yeah. trying to force him to name you I'm just going to like winner. keep him in place yeah. the whole time. He's like, I'm not going to do it. So, uh, I mean, what, what else do you want to do? Well, I, I, I want to exit the studio and mm. try to figure out what we're going to do with the rest of our life. I mean... Are, 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 that's, are we, that's so just lot. outside the so just outside life? the studio are, 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 are we criminals shuttle, are we heroes the shuttle is there and the the person who normally drives the shuttle who you never learned his name mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. he turns to you like oh hey guys how's it going shuttle hey what's guy. up you oh uh, you know I'll just wait for y'all to get out of the show looks like it was a real burner tonight it was. <laughs> yeah. yeah someone left the uh, stove on it just got out of control it's crazy yeah. they didn't yeah. tell me what to do so uh, where do you guys want to go have you met my son what? No! I, na I named him Estevan. <laughs> it's, uh, He's spicy. Just, if you could keep him inside, very... He'll, 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 he'll fly fire. along. He'll fly along. I, you know, I love my vehicle here. He'll fly it's, along. Take good care he'll fly along. So Holly said that uh, you could just take us anywhere we want to go. Okay, where do you, yeah. you want to go? What do you want to do? Where do you guys want to go? I have a spaceship. Um... No, you have a spaceship. We all should have spaceships. No, I, I, I rented. Like I, I flew you here. You rented through, one. I, you know, like you I. You want a Zuber? The, exactly. I just want some Quasaritos. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I came here on a NASA shuttle, but it broke down a while ago, so I left it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna love with you. You're never getting back home. No, I assume so. Okay. Yeah. You can hang out with us if you want to. Actually, it's, I've actually been floating around in space for the last hundred years. Oh, that so. sounds boring. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know, hang out with us. Hey, let's go, let's driver. some Quasaritos. Yeah, surprisingly, as much as we cook food, we haven't eaten anything. At least That's I true. haven't eaten anything in a, a little Where bit. Where can I get some Quasaritos and some gummy bears? Oh, okay. We'll go down to the local taco joint. Oh, yeah. They have gummy bears there? Delicious. Of course they do. That's amazing. Gummy bears is the number one flavor of taco up here. Oh, yeah. All right. So you all, I assume, get into the shuttle. Mm -hmm. It takes you away from the studio as it burns down. Um, Zarflax and his son ride off the top cuddles. Bye, Zarflax. Bye, and Timothy. So we have now reached the end. And so... What becomes of Uranium Chef? Well, the microphone was on during uh, that entire exchange there towards the end, and so Dr. Durian and Holly's horrible, horrible machinations were put out there for everyone to see, and so the show, Uranium Chef, was finally canceled for good. How many seasons had it been on? Uh, 7,326. It's older than Macron. I know, right? That's impossible. But <laughs> seasons, though. Uh, yeah. Summer, They fall. cranked him out. Yeah. yeah. Squimter. Yeah, exactly. Squimter, yeah. Uh, so, Squimter's the best. Uh, also, Smarch. Sometimes Smarch is pretty good, too. Now, how about we have a little fun time? Yeah. Let's cut fun. forward a year later. Okay. Where is everybody? 
Who wants to start? I am back in uh, I'm back in Seth Lobos. Back to Seth Lobos. Mm-hmm. Zorby has gone. Yep. Okay. Uh, guess what? What? Yiz. Mm-hmm. Out of business. You put oh! him out of Yiz. Out of biz. Turns out I got so famous being on Uranium Chef that everybody they went back to my side. They realized that Yiz obviously was lying the whole time about how terrible my food was because they saw me and they saw what a hero I was too. So Yiz. He had to leave the planet. Oof. That's right. And guess what? I uh, sometimes go and I, I visit Coco. And, you know, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. You know, she's she's hanging on to Herb for me. So I, I use that as an excuse. You know, how's Herb doing? You know, are you keeping good care of Herb? You know, but, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that one of these days, just maybe. So <laughs> update on Mimpy and Coco. They are married and have three children. <laughs> Uh, and they also have Herb, and he's Th- having a wonderful time. Three children. Yes. In a year. Yes. <laughs> okay. No, their time, no, time, time goes, time goes, by goes differently yeah. down there. True. Yeah. 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 <laughs> did okay. we go to the? Did we go to their wedding? Of course you did. Yes. It was a wonderful ah! wedding. Yeah, it was okay. Yeah. <laughs> Zorba was pretty mad because it was literally like moments after the show burned down was mm-hmm. when you guys went to the wedding. Yeah, we got like e invites. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna write fan fiction right now, you guys. I'm not even Obviously, joking. I wasn't invited, but I was your plus one, Pankuko. Of course, <laughs> because I was invited. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, what, what happens to what happens Thunus? To Thunus? What do you think Thunus does? So uh, I think Thunus returns home to Bluefin, um, and. Bluefin, which was sort of like a more um, somewhat abandoned uh, planet as I had left. Um, The popularity of me being on Uranium Chef actually brought in a lot of tourism. A lot more prosperity has returned to Bluefin. And I open up a restaurant called Macaroni's. Yeah. Um, That's adorable. Macron helps me write the menu. He obviously starts off with a small EA at the very start, but then he's too busy. He's too big for it, and I get it. But he at least helps me write the wine menu, builds out my wine cellar. Yeah, you have digital correspondence all exactly. the time. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I don't understand how to use it, but we do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> every now and then, Macron's face pops up on a thing. I go, hey, macaroni. Uh, but yeah, and then the only thing we serve is macaroni and wine. <laughs> it's very popular. Yeah, so that's it's an Italian great. restaurant. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wendy, what do you think happens to Wendy? So Wendy never gets back to Earth. No. No. Oh. She's, she's just out there bumming around in space because mm. she doesn't really know where to go. But she does eventually finds the Earth channel that Zorby's been talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, her and Esteban, we have a heated relationship because he's hot and I'm cool. <laughs> and we we keep it hot, hot, and cool, cool. Right. And Esteban eventually enters his teenage phase. And I'm just like, Esteban, you need to go out in the world and spread your love. And so I set him free. And um, <laughs> while it's happening, I decide to open up my own food truck because uh, during my time, no one saw me stealing it, but I stole it. I stole a food truck and I turned it <laughs> into an ice creamery. And, you and want because to know? you know I'm so good at using my cool hands, I'm able to make ice cream. Ice cream in different flavors of the universe. And and you know, and uh, I just go around traveling around and just taking ingredients and just And you know what happens? Mm. You become famous. Yeah. And people recognize you. Ooh. Oh. Finally. Yeah. Oh, Every once in a while, Esteban comes and visits me. Sure. Scuba's ice cream becomes the, all the range. Everybody wants that scuba. It's but so no cute. one really recognizes <gasps> the truck. Is your food truck called scuba? It has yeah. to be called scuba. Scoop Scuba! Scuba! Scoop yes. by scuba. Scoops yeah. by scuba. That's like so beats so by Dre. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Scoops so by scuba. Bankuka, what happens? Uh, well, I know what I would like to happen. Oh, I think but... I think it does happen. Ah! I can't even. Uh, so me and future husband eventually becomes not future husband. And we spend all of our time hunting and fighting the most fearsome beasts imaginable. Ooh. And every time I destroy new uh, beasts and animals, I send it back to my home planet of Nancho. So I'm basically feeding my entire planet. Do you guys have planet. vampire kitty babies? Duh. Yay! Vampire kitty baby. A litter of ten. <gasps> Yay! 
it's a lot. Was it I invited years. to the wedding? And they love wine. Yeah, and oh. they are extra bloodthirsty. They're a year old. They got to age fine. them soon. They're kids. That's what I they found. grow fast. I bottle fed them with little wine bottles. They're he, part vampire. They need it. It's, it's yeah. part of this. You use some of that special wine to age them. <laughs> yeah. Now you're 10. Drink now you're up. 18. <laughs> oh, man. So, a uh, uh, couple of other uh, closing moments. Um, <clears throat> the Promethean chef visits Thunnus oh, on yeah. his plan. Uh, we were buddies. And uh, he wanted to come and check out the uh, macaroni restaurant that you opened. Yeah. And he really enjoyed it. Aww. And y'all are still in touch. Nice. Did he... Wait, what about Chris? What about Chris? Can I eat him? Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Chris returns with you to your plan. And Zorby... In your old cracked fishbowl, because you got a new one. You filled it up with water, a nice little island, everything like that. Yes. And you have Chris and Snail chilling in that bowl, hanging with I you I give all him the all the eggs. Yeah, all the <laughs> eggs. Yes. And he loves it. I Every love time it. you come home, you know how like a dog will wait for you at the door? Chris waits for you and says, Sup. Sup. I love it. It's my favorite time of the day. <laughs> uh, all the Kipley people and Coco, they all still live uh, within that little micro galaxy, which y'all have protected all of these micro galaxies. Um, within your restaurant. Mm -hmm. They're all kept there. You don't even actually know what it is that's back there. <laughs> There's my snow globe collection. It's your yeah. snow globe collection, as far as you know. And you cherish it. Mm -hmm. And yes. you love it because all of your friends gave it to you. Yeah. But the most important thing is that you all meet up together all the time because you guys became friends. Yay! Yay! Nat is the end of Uranium Chef. Wow! Friendship. Love it! Hey everybody, so that was our Uranium Chef series. I hope you guys really dug it and a big thank you to everyone that helped support it. I just wanted to remind you guys to please keep your eyes tuned to our Patreon page to learn about our upcoming Dungeons and Dragons series. That's where we're gonna post our first bits of information about it. So be sure to tune in there down in the link in the description below.